It is September 20th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. It's time to reset the counter yet again. It's been zero days since a new JavaScript framework has been released. The highly anticipated Quick framework, built by a dream team of developers, just hit beta yesterday. Now, before you go and change the channel, this isn't just another average 5-inch framework. It brings an entirely new rendering paradigm to the table called resumability, which totally eliminates the need for hydration, the technique used by almost every meta framework today to make server render websites fully interactive. To understand what makes Quick special, we first need to understand the problem with the current generation of frameworks. The key to a perfect Lighthouse performance score is to use less JavaScript. Google did some science and found that making a website 20% faster results in 10% more conversions. If your website makes $1,000 a year, that could be like $10 you're leaving on the table. The catch-22 of web development is that in order to implement the features your customers want, you need more JavaScript. But in order to make your site fast, you need less JavaScript. Like in Next.js, for example, you start with about 70 kilobytes of JavaScript out of the gate, thanks to React DOM. You'll then add at least a couple hundred more kilobytes to that with your own application code that will scale O of N based on how much application code you have on the page. That's because on the initial page load, the framework needs to hydrate the DOM and rebuild or bootstrap the entire component tree from the ground up. It's kind of like watching a movie that can't be paused. If you need to restart the application by hitting the refresh button in the browser, it needs to re-execute all the JavaScript from the beginning to get back to where it was. Refresh! Damn! Refresh! Damn! Frameworks like Astro have record recognize this problem, which uses a technique called partial hydration to selectively hydrate the DOM, but Quick cuts out hydration altogether. Like, it's just not even necessary. It delivers HTML that's instantly interactive. That means in theory, you should be able to achieve a perfect Lighthouse performance score, no matter how big and complex your JavaScript code base is. That sounds too good to be true, so how is it even possible? The key innovation here is that a Quick app can be fully serialized as HTML. In other words, at any moment, you can hit the pause button and capture all of the data and closures in the application and represent it all as an HTML string. That's huge for server-side rendering because by the time that HTML gets to the browser, it can just pick up where the server left off without needing to execute any JavaScript at all. And that's why they coined the term resumability. Now the other thing that makes this magic possible is lazy loading, which is built in as a primitive part of the framework. To understand it, let's look at some code. At first glance, it looks like a React app that uses functional components and JSX. But what's the deal with this dollar sign? It actually represents a lazy loaded boundary. And what you'll find is that everything is lazy loaded, and that even includes things like event handlers that close over the state of the application. That's kind of crazy, because how does this chunk of JavaScript know the state of the application if it's lazy loaded? If we look at the HTML, we can see this event handler is serialized directly into the code. Now, if we open the network tab, we'll find zero JavaScript on the initial page load. You'll notice that that JavaScript is not actually loaded until we click the button. It contains the code we want to execute, and also has access to the lexical environment to update state that might be shared by other components, which itself comes from another lazy loaded chunk. The takeaway here is that you don't actually need to load any JavaScript until the user interacts with the UI. If we go ahead and build the application, which is powered by Vite, you'll notice we get a ton of tiny chunks less than one kilobyte each, instead of a single massive bundle. And because of that, Quick can scale infinitely to as much JavaScript as your heart desires. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.